On this building, everything that I thought was going to be easy is hard, and everything that I thought was hard is easy. Time to push it. This, this is not how this is supposed to work. This, no one making it work. I, I am sick and tired. I'm ready. All the work we've done because things are feeling like it's feeling like it's moving so quick right now and i was just driving down to the building today and i was like whoa there's a building here okay it's monday uh we have people over this weekend helping us massively uh pretty much everything's up we're missing this big window right here uh -huh. Well, we were having the little issue with the nut yesterday. Mitch said he actually has a tool that can fix that. And then we're missing the small windows over there, which I don't think we're worried at all about them. They're like tiny little windows compared to everything else we've done. Uh, we're missing these three pieces, which is actually that thing there. And it's cut, was not pre-cut. And then the cables which Meet is putting right now. They actually put the ones in the roof yesterday, which is nice because those were gonna be the hardest ones. Okay, so Meet has put those cables and those cables and has left the others because, here, I'll give you an example. The next ones go here, but the girts and the ones he has put are on the outside of the wall, but here, so those are sitting here, but these are sitting in the wall. So what we're actually going to have to do is make a hole in the middle. Um, we did find it at the plant, so that made us feel better. It does say we're going to have to drill holes. And then the same on that side. But not that bad at all. So it's really nice right now. Mitch is doing a lot of work and I think I'm going to warm up to do my workout. the bottom of our hill for me to do my workout so this is Mitch's break but no mine oh. Yes, you! Don't, don't give me that look! I know it's you! Don't even care! Not even apologetic about it! Don't go! Just, just don't eat all the grass, okay? Oh, look how many there are! Things we plant here, we don't have a drill bit to drill in the concrete. We never go back to to the hardware store multiple times a day. Uh, so I'm gonna go back and get it since I, there isn't very much I can do. Um, right before I do, I'm gonna help him something, something with the lines. Oh, to make sure where the lines will go into this girt or the, where the holes will go into this girt. So I'll help with that. And then I'm gonna go get the, the drill bit so he can actually make the holes. So just go back from picking up the bit that is needed and they send this guy to help me who didn't know anything. Um, so this room says I don't know if I go the right thing. The guy that helped me didn't know very much and I didn't know very much and we decided on one. But neither of us were very confident. Where do they find these characters? I don't know. Here. Is this right? 
Okay, so I'm going to have to put this one window together. I'm surprised there's no weird brackets in this thing. Yeah. It doesn't really make sense which one's house and which one's not. Yeah. Huh? So guess what? I just finished putting together these two frames for the windows and I put them on, on the wrong way so now I have to put them on again but before take them apart so I have more than doubled the work I started with It's not rewarding. It's rewarding when you do it right the first time. When you have to undo it and do it again, it's the opposite of rewarding. It's like, it's like, why did I even start this? I thought I picked the easiest project possible. On this building, everything that I thought was going to be easy is hard, and everything that I thought was hard is easy. Today has been cloudy and it's a little chilly. Yeah. I like the balance. When you have sun every single day like Phoenix, you get sick and tired. And when you have cloud every day like Cleveland, you get sick and tired. And here we have this nice balance. Usually it's every day we have all of the seasons. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Okay, we're back to leveling and squaring. That middle part seems to be good enough. <laughs> Trying to push it? I'm just seeing like because it's so like close, like if it will if it like budges at all. development. I went back home and I was going to book a, a really big truck that we were going to pick up tomorrow morning in Sterling and get all the insulation from the shop we have it in and drive it back here. And Mitch just called me and his truck won't start. Which is a bit of an issue too because we actually needed to go back tomorrow because we have this really long trailer that we have borrowed from his dad's company and they needed it and he said that he knows what's wrong and he thinks he needs to call some dealership dealership to like come tow it so this is very good with cars so i cannot imagine why it can be that bad that he need that he needs towed so now I'm going back to the lot to pick him up because he has no way back. What's going on, Nanny? I don't know how it happened. I think something. Do you remember how this thing has like had that little like rattle? Oh yeah. I think something fell off of either the front of the engine or what? Something up there. Yeah, like a bolt. Like it. <laughs> I mean, it can happen, and it hit the radiator. Something hit the radiator, and there's a hole in it. So I started it over here. Yeah. And I heard that rattle for a second and it got really loud and went poof. And then I heard something spraying in here and I came and opened the thing and there was coolant spraying out. So the radiator has a hole in it. I don't know. I hope that something fell off the front of the engine, honestly, because then it's covered okay. by warranty, I would assume. Yeah. That's their fault. I was thinking if we should still just rent a pickup tomorrow or something, just take off in the morning with it, get the trailer out of here, be done with that and get 
some insulation back here so I could because I don't really need the truck right now. Yeah. We don't need to haul anything. We just need a trailer to take back to Sterling. Yeah, we just need to get the trailer back to Sterling and then I don't need the truck. I mean, it's not that crazy of a thing. Like I've changed many radiators before. It probably mm. would take me a few hours to do it total. That's if, what O'Reilly's didn't have. Yeah, if uh, they had okay. it. It's just a square piece with like two or three hoses depending and like two electric plugs and probably four bolts. Okay. It's not a big deal. Good morning. Hey, brother man. <laughs> we are now, Katarina doesn't love it, but I have to organize my shed because I get very inefficient when stuff is a mess. And because my truck broke, I had to throw everything out of it in the shed. And the shed is a disaster, so I'll spend 50 hours trying to find all the parts. So I need to put up a couple more just hanging things to hang some things and get them out of the way so we can organize the bolts again. And then back to getting this thing square, her other favorite thing. So, yes, my other favorite is <laughs> she, the favorite thing. She just day wants today. to put on the metal and be done yes, with it. I, I am sick and tired. I'm ready. I mean, you would think once the one side is pretty good, the other should be kind of good, right? Yeah, I think, I mean, the main squaring thing, like the main one, yeah. I've done. Okay. So, and the other one on the front side is hooked up now um, with those big ones that we had to drill into the concrete. So it's nice to give him a couple of days to cure. And then yesterday, Mitch went to Sterling um, and brought some of the insulation for the walls, which is actually over there. Both walls, you said? Both long walls? Yeah. And it I really got, doesn't look that much for and I both got like long walls. Four bags of the end walls, too. Oh, really? Yeah. We had a random visitor today. Apparently, he called yesterday and he's with Home Depot. Yeah, Home Depot rentals Home for this guy, Jack, I think. For, yeah. I think he said the quarterly safety check for yes. the machine. So, so he has to just drive around to different machines at different job sites and do make sure that the everything is yeah. like safe. I was very worried about this because <laughs> this man lift that we ordered was like supposedly not available and then they were like oh yeah it is available and then i thought oh my god it has some issue and they didn't realize it and gave it to us and now this guy's gonna come here and take it he didn't take it he didn't care how's your cleaning going honey good are you feeling me oh so nice are you talking to it? i am not it does look nice doesn't it look like we can get things done a little easier mm-hmm I mean, I personally like, you know, I'm the kind of organized where everything is on top of each other. Yeah. But you know where things are. You do. Yes. But me, I have spent at least four to five hours searching for things. I understand. Here. You're not a properly organized. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is not how this is supposed to work. What? This, but we're making it work. <laughs> up. Look at our little nice shed. Yeah, nice, huh? When we got it, I didn't think it would be any help, and it has been pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, it saved us days. Yeah. Like if I had to get all of this out of the truck every day. Every time. Yeah. Like when it's easy and convenient, you can use it way faster. I want to know where the truck box is. Are we going to put the line down? I thought it was in the shed. I thought we fixed the shed so we can find things in Exactly. <laughs> and we still have a mess out here. What is the problem? Lack of organization. This is one of those projects where 50 things need to go on at a time. <laughs> and for that to happen, you better be pretty clean. And this weekend with everyone here, we got very unclean. And the truck, throwing everything in here. Uh, we're getting these pretty straight. Cat has left for the day. It was windy earlier and it was really cold, so it's pretty miserable to be out here. So I told her to go home. So we've got this bay straight with these two. And I tightened these girts up here and down here. And then off of that, I extended all the way out to that end wall and got everything plumb um, and the distances make sure they were correct now we're just pulling this top over a little bit it really doesn't take much 
Um, maybe if you had two or three guys in the basket, you could even pull that thing over. It moves um, decently easy because we didn't bolt it tight, but we left those ones loose on that side, and these ones are tight on this side, so we'll just pull this over and then tighten these down and get this plumb and then work to the next one. All right, we got the wall all square this way, so it's plumb on all columns, and most importantly, the end walls, they're the most important. Make sure the building's square and where the steel is. I mean, if one of these is leaning in or out inside, you're not gonna really notice much. I just came to the lot to pick up Mitch because a couple of days ago his truck radiator broke. He did order the radiator today. So I'm going to go down to Denver to pick it up tomorrow. Not really sure if this is something I can pick up in a car. But anyway, so I'm in the lot to pick him up. It is almost 6 p.m. It's full dark outside. And he texted me as I was sleeping in the house to tell me to wait maybe 30 or 45 more minutes before I come. And that's my husband. He'll just keep working. Where are you? Over here. What you working on? Why did you get these metal things out? What? I thought these metal things don't go until the very end. The very end of everything. Oh, we're about ready for them. They go first down to the bottom. Yeah, they'll go to the bottom and then <laughs> the metal screws to them. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I thought it was like a trim that we will put in the bottom yeah. at the end. These will be here. And I just, I bought glue or like a sealant, like a glue to go all the way underneath it. And then some like nail things to put in every once in a while until oh, the glue dries. Okay. So that goes all the way around. How did the rest of the building go? Good. Look, this wall is all plumb. Okay. Okay, and it's pretty good this way without doing much. And this corner mm -hmm. is pretty plumb. All of these were leaning like this. Okay. So I tightened that thing and pulled them this over. I don't think it's very much more. And I got your window in, did you see? Oh, cool. Yeah. The big one. Yeah. Oh, it's sitting way higher than we thought. But come look, I think it's about perfect for this. No, I like it being high. It's I think get you'll like get more, more sun. sun. Yeah. And you can see everything except like the base, unless you really want to. But you can see everything from here. You can see up the whole driveway. No, it's, it's nice. night. Yeah. I think a couple hours in the morning and I'll have it all like squared and ready. Oh, nice. And then a few hours to get all this up and these little doorways and stuff. So we might put our first installation tomorrow? I think the end of tomorrow, if I don't work on the truck. Oh, yeah. Then we'd be ready. Cool. Oh, good job, honey. Close, yeah. yeah, it's coming nicely. Last week, the truck radiator had a hole in it. We don't know how or why. I think something fell off the front of the engine, maybe. I don't know. Um, but everybody seems to believe that it would be kind of hard to prove that anyway for like warranty. So we decided it's not worth trying to, well, we were going to anyway. We were going to tow it to the dealership just to have them do it because I don't have time. Um, but they couldn't get us in for like two weeks and that was just to look at it and then if there were parts on back order or whatever um so i wouldn't have a truck for two weeks we just didn't have time to do that i called the local shop um they were like 10 days out um so we just decided i just would have to do it we went down at night last night and got the a new radiator so i'm just 
having fun doing my favorite job, fixing a truck while I should be building a building. Um, we got a newer truck, or a new truck really, just so we wouldn't have to deal with this, and now we have to deal with it. I had to tear half the truck apart. Don't know if that was the only way, but there was a bolt at the bottom and I couldn't get in from anywhere else. So I had to get it. And the good news is I found the culprit down here in the bottom afterwards was lying, uh, this is a bolt case. Oh, I thought this was a bolt holder, but maybe this is a, oh, this is off the front of the freaking fan. All right, well, we'll see what happens. Okay, Mitch came and picked me up from the house, so I can come do my workout. And today was supposed to be super warm, but, and it was this morning, eh? Yeah, really nice. It is not super warm right now because of this freaking cloud. Yeah. So, hopefully, this moves soon. Mitch put that window in and that window in, this door in. So everything is in except for this door. And I think the way we're waiting on that is cause we have planned to have the door be three feet and we want it to be four feet now so that we can run out, no feeling like we might hit the frame of the door. I mean, these windows took me most of the time because there's 12 freaking holes I had to drill. Oh yeah. And then get those in and then those things we put on were upside down so I had to flip them and then what things yeah the ones I put in yeah. one way then yeah. you had to flip them yeah so are you freaking I kidding me all of these brackets <laughs> on and got all of the brackets laid out and figured out and then all of the brackets I got figured out um, the biggest trouble was like on here some of the bolts were missing and wrong so I had to fix them. Both of these are up. But now we're good with everything, so I don't think it should take too much longer. I am very upset about the window story. So I have put them on right the first time, and then I decided they were wrong. wrong right. What? I had put them on the same way. No, remember you, you only switched one. I no, I only switched both. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they were upside down. I can go back and Mitch can come back with the truck working uh, whenever he's ready. He was working on brackets when I left. He should be done with brackets now, but I'm sure he's going around squaring everything off. I am willing to bet this will be the most squared, plumbed, red iron building that has ever been built. The siding better go on like buttons. Right now it's not so cold, so we can get a little more down for sure. I'm excited to see where we add and if maybe tomorrow we can finally put the first insulation and siding on.